birthday, guys. So guess what can be in the mail? I ordered Red Dead Redemption 2. If I didn't tell you guys before in the previous video, I did. But if you didn't watch them, Red Dead Redemption 2 and Black Sabbath's The End DVD. I've seen Black Sabbath twice. Uh, I was lucky and fortunate to see Black Sabbath the first time and the second time. And the last, well, the last time was the second time, because they're not, they decided to not be a band anymore. Um, it's a bit kind of bittersweet. I'm, I'm mostly more of a fan of Ozzy. I, I freaking fucking love Ozzy. Um, here we go. That uh, was my shipping. It was two day shipping. I'm on Amazon Prime. Hi, ah, here we go. Oh my God. So here we go. Speaking of Black Sabbath, I wanted to get their Blu-ray concert DVD for so long. I saw them in Vancouver. This is their show in their hometown. The final show from the greatest metal band of all time, Black Sabbath. Um, features songs like Black Sabbath, Fairies Wear Boots, Under the Sun, After Forever, Into the Void, Snowblind, War Pigs, Behind the Wall of Sleep, NIB, Hand of Dune, Supernaut, South Bloody Sabbath, Mago Mania, Rat Salad, Drum Solo, Iron Man, Dirty Woman, Children of the Grave, Paranoid. And also I wanted to see the featurette in here that they did not have with their concert was uh, the Angelic Sessions. They have five other songs, The Wizard. Wicked World, Sweet Leaf, Tomorrow's Dream, and Changes. Changes. So this is a Blu-ray. Um, see if I don't have my... And Red Dead Redemption 2. Oh my fucking god. I remember when I played this game about however how long ago it was. Eight years ago or more. Yeah, give or take me about eight years ago or a little bit more than that. Um, wow. Wow. Um, wow, so you're going to see some game shares from this. this. I just got the standard version for this, so uh, Rockstar Games, production, America in 1899, the end of the Wild West era has begun. So this is a prequel, apparently. Whoops, PlayStation exclusive. PlayStation exclusive. Isn't that a PlayStation exclusive game? Play selected online content first on PS4. Oh, this is not a PlayStation exclusive game because I know it's on Xbox as well. Um, I know it is on Xbox as well. Um, I'm wondering if I should go and see or wait a bit. Um, people have been saying that uh, Aquaman has been a pretty good watch. So I'm wondering if I should go and see Aquaman and give uh, DC another chance of their movies. Uh, I've seen the Shazam trailer like how many times and that movie looks good. So we have it. Have it. Oh my god. They have two discs in here? I did not know that. Red Dead Redemption 2. What's, what's with the two discs? Insert disc. Insert Play disc second. This is insert data disc first. Okay, I don't know why there's two discs. There's a data disc, and then there's play disc. Okay, and then they have. Um, who needs a manual? I mean, you know, the game's pretty straightforward, but they have a a map, I guess. A map. Um. I'm just going to fork to open up this. This is the Black Sabbath Blu-ray. I actually got a... Uh, I actually got a uh, Black Veil Brides one too, but hard to say that will, probably won't come for a while. Um, the Black Sabbath... I'm sorry, Black Sabbath. Black Veil Brides one is on their way too. It's Alive and, alive and Burning, their DVD. Blu-rays too. As well, if I've wanted this one for a while, so the 
really, really like to pack this one. Sweet. It's just one CD in here. Blu-ray. And then they have, oh. Can I have like a book? Um, <laughs> great Tony Iommi. So good to see those guys, especially the second time. I was so close to them. I could throw something at them. It was so close. There's Geezer. Uh, he's very... I really love him as a, as a bass player. Uh, great inspirational bass player. It's just He plays phenomenally. Makes everything look so easy. Geezer. Geezer. The end. Yeah. But they, they didn't uh, end it with uh, Bill Ward, the original drummer. So. And then it's given a thing a little bit about their legacy and why they decided to call it quits. So, or put, you know, end, end uh, on a high note, I guess. A lot of great shots on here that I'll have to check out sometime here. Put it in. Almost make me feel like I'm at a, the concert again. I have a Three Days Grace Blu-ray too that I've, I've had for some time for about three or four years already now. So, there's a great Ozzy. I'm more of an Ozzy fan with his solo stuff than I am Sabbath, but um, I don't know. It just it kind of hits me more because this stuff's all about personal stuff and life and you know. Tried getting into the, the Ronnie James Dio stuff of it, but it's too it's too Satan-y for me. It's too devil worshipy. Uh, so there's other guys, I guess they're helping out with them. Um, is it Alan Wakeman or Adam Wakeman? Wakeman, and then their stand-in drummer uh, Tommy Clefettos. Um He's Adam Wakeman. I don't know. Oh, right, Tommy Cofettos and Adam Wakeman. Okay, yeah, up there. Um, I don't know if there's any mentions of Bill Ward, the original drummer that they had on here. Um, all tracks were written by Geezer Butler, Tony Omi, Ozzy Osbourne, and Bill Ward. Oh, they do mention Bill Ward in the, the writing process. Um, so audio engineering and drum tech and... Uh, Oh, there you have it. So there's Black Sabbath's DVD, Blu-ray, farewell thing, and then there's uh, Red Dead Redemption 2. I did not know it had two discs in here. I can't believe it's finally here. It was all sold out in stores, so I had to buy it online. The new Hanover? Hanover? So this game is a prequel. I think this is, yeah, this is a map. See how big the map is. So you have New Austin. I think it's supposed to be Austin, Texas. I don't know. And then Border. I guess you get to go to Mexico. Mexico. Trump would probably want to build a wall. That's the sub. Well, you know, in the States, you don't have really a wall. You already have a you know, a river dividing Mexico and the states and a long drop. But there's the 
There's the map. So I am, I'm going to put this in at some point today and give it a, give it a go. So just so I share that with you. So there's tunnels, railroads, train stations, buildings. It's a prequel. It's a prequel, so it's set in 1899, so I'm not sure how it would do with um, a lot of buildings, maybe less buildings back then. Outlaws for life. After a robbery goes badly wrong in a western town of Blackwater, Arthur Morgan and Vander Vander Lind Lid Lind gang are forced to flee with federal agents and the best bounty hunters in the nation. Massing on their heels and gang must rob, steal, fight their way across the rugged heartland of America in order to survive as the deepening of interval divisions threaten to tear and gang apart. Arthur must make a choice between his ideals and loyalty to gang who raised him. Two to 32 players online and one player for campaign. Campaign, that's, yeah. Sweet. So, just thought I'd share that with you guys. And, um, yeah, I will definitely do some game shares eventually with that. Um, at this point tonight, just a lot of good stuff happening. Let me see those games. So, okay, until next time, guys.